someone worked very hard to keep this hidden. My God. Project Shadow. Sonic the Hedgehog movie three is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't. Ah, oh, that just sounds weird. Sonic the Hedgehog movie three. I mean, it's technically called Sonic the Hedgehog movie three, but yeah, I just re-roll it. Sonic Movie 3 is on its way, and in my opinion, we are closer than we are farther away, and things seem to just keep getting better for it. Avatar has moved, even though, you know, Shadow would have absolutely destroyed those little blue aliens. Right? They finished the script before the writer's strike, which is like delaying a ton of films right now, and it just truly seems like they want to be ahead of the game. And why can't I be ahead of the game too? So what are my early predictions for this movie? Well, in the past, I made a predictions video on the Sonic movie too, and I believe I had a layout, like how the story would go, what the characters would do, etc. Um, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I've actually made this a lot easier myself. Uh, as you guys know, I've had you know, a lot of stupid breaks in between videos. Uh, that's not happening anymore. I'm gonna be more consistent, I promise, guys. Uh, but I've watched a lot of YouTube, obviously, during that time, and I figured out how to kind of make this, like I said, easier on myself. And I just wanna give out eight predictions instead of a whole structured thing. Um, that will happen in the film. But at the end of it, I do want to talk about Sonic and Shadow's character because they're the two most intriguing ones in my opinion. So let's get started. Starting with prediction one, and honestly the most boring prediction, Sonic Movie 3 will make over half a billion dollars at the box office. I know the first two didn't, I know even combined, they didn't reach a billion dollars, but I feel that Shadow himself, if marketed right in the trailers, can seriously be a factor in getting the film over that hump, and also like, I know the first movie obviously was during the pandemic and the second one was still having like the leftover effects of the pandemic. So this one will be like the first one, like in a sense, pandemic free. So it should do a lot better than the first two and hopefully it can get over that uh, $500 million mark. Prediction two, Rouge and Amy will both make an appearance in the third film. Now personally, I'm a part of the group that doesn't really want Amy to be in that third movie. I don't think it should happen simply because they didn't really flesh out the characters too much that well in the second movie, like Tails, and of course, you know, now, now that Knuckles is a good guy or really on Sonic's team, they need to give a whole movie uh, with all those character dynamics. Man, I mean, you know, it's, it's gonna be kinda, kinda cluttered because obviously that's six animated characters and you know, that's why I don't want that many right now, especially because I want them to all be fleshed out. I want them to get that big moment to shine. I want them to get their glitter, their glams, their stars, their confetti. <laughs> but I think director Jeff Fowler, in case this is his last film, wants to throw all his eggs into one basket uh, for this last film with all the characters of the SA2 storyline. Prediction three, quest for the Chaos Emeralds. I feel like this is a given, but we need Chaos Emeralds again for this story if we're gonna see the Eclipse Cannon, Chaos Control, all that jazz, right? So even though the extremely sized down, tiny entities might be a pain to look for, I believe that they will return. Prediction four, the supers will fight in space. We got a final battle on Earth. We got a final battle on Earth again. It's time we switch it up, you know, like a lot, <laughs> and give it a bit of a cool new flair. Whatever or whoever Sonic and Shadow will have to stop will be in space, full CGI, last five to 10 minutes of that scene is just pure, beautiful CGI of our supers stopping or taking down the Eclipse Cannon. Prediction five, going bold on this one, Eggman will actually die. Okay, 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 okay. Let's not make this a personal problem. Look, okay, your boy Jim wants to retire, okay? And you gotta let this, I don't even know what, this, this freak of nature go. And I think it's gonna happen in like one of two ways. One being the good old sacrifice play. And the second way being, oh yeah, let me just go ahead and mention, uh, movie Eggman is gonna have to work with movie Sonic most likely. And I just feel like, he really, 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 really hates him more than like any other iteration of Eggman. So I was thinking maybe he would just be too stubborn and end up passing away on the arc or just like something like sadly poetic like that. I don't know if that's like just wrong or kind of weird because you know, Maria, you know, just kind of got boom, like, uh, all that, all that stuff. Okay, I'll, I'll stop. That's kind of dark. <laughs> Prediction six, more Sonic. Music. The Sonic movies, in my heart, for one reason, can't match Mario. And it's in one aspect, of course, and that's the music. They aren't using it in the movies. If Live and Learn isn't utilized, 
I mean, it's not going to be a general audience type problem, of course, but Sonic fans will be angry. Like, Sonic has some of the greatest, like, video game music, in my opinion, of all time. Sure, I don't play every video game or mostly any, but, um, I just... I don't think it's hard to understand that he does. Like, just go to a freaking YouTube playlist, listen, and be like, oh yeah, this is a bop, let's do it in this scene. I'm sure it's not that easy, but it, it can work. Mario did it. Prediction seven, there will be no post credit scene. Guys, our Sonic movie tenure is coming to a close. Or is it? I think there won't be a post credit scene in Sonic 3 for three reasons. One. They want to cap off this trilogy, like, this is the trilogy that they made, there's no more, it's over. Two, if there's new writers and new film directors in the next installment, why, what are you doing forcing them to, to go a certain way with the post credit scene, you know what I'm trying to say? And three, though I believe there will be a Sonic 4, if this installment gets over half a billion dollars, of course, um, I just think the next thing is most likely going to be a spinoff movie of whatever character or something else. It won't be just like Sonic 3, Sonic 4, I think it is going to be an actual spinoff film. And the last prediction of today's video, Shadow will, drumroll please, live. Look, I don't think they're gonna kill off Shadow, even if there's not more to the Sonic movie franchise, but if Jeff was actually being serious about a Sonic movie universe, you'd think he'd wanna try his absolute hardest to keep it going, and I think that first step is to keep Shadow alive, unlike killing him off and having to do all these stupid retcons like in the video games. And truly, in other terms, if Shadow dies, so does the Sonic movie franchise. Let's just be real, like, if they kill him off at the end of the movie, just like, also put a little note in your brain, Okay, this franchise is over, capped off at a trilogy. Good to know. Good night, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to go cry for a little bit. Now the final thing of today's video, it's gonna go pretty quickly here. I just wanna chat about Sonic and Shadow's character in the third film. For one with Sonic, his character arc will finally come to a close. He will be that more mature hero that we see in the games. Not exactly a one-to-one -on -one -to -one counterpart or anything like that, but just someone that takes things more serious than not. And even though he embraces being a kid by the end of the second movie, I just don't think a Shadow the Hedgehog level threat is going to allow him to do that. And as for Shadow, I believe the writers are going to absolutely pop off. If you love Shadow and Sonic Prime, I believe this is going to be even something better. I believe they're going to make everyone in the theaters care about Shadow and his tragic story. He might be a jerk, but not an edgelord. He might be distant, but more relatable than just a douche. And truly, I think Shadow the Hedgehog will be done justice in this movie. And I don't know, I just feel like it's in the writing. Sonic Movie 3 is going to be something that we look back on for a long time and just look at it like, wow, what a great film. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, drop a like, help me get my channel back in the algorithm, and subscribe as we're on the quest for 1k subs and a face reveal. Also comment your A predictions, YouTube really cares about comments now, and plus I'll be responding and hearting to all of them below. With that being said, I love you guys, wear your socks, peace. Thank you.